that I have in my hand, LAPD evidence item 123, two bottles of lorazepam. I'm opening the package. They are each previously labeled LAPD item 123. I'd ask that these be these two bottles be collectively marked People's 147. Yes. Placing a P147 on each bottle. Again, Ms. Fleet showing these two individual vials of lorazepam, each one a 10 milliliter vial with a concentration of four milligram per milliliter. Uh, one of these appears to be capped and unopened. Yes. And one of them appears, uh, has the uh, foil cap removed and is about uh, half full. Yes. You want to have a, appears to be a, does not have a prescription, but it appears to be a kind of a standard prescription pill bottle, LAPD item 118. I'm opening the package. The label indicates it's from Applied Pharmacy Services, previously labeled as 118, containing ephedrine 25 milligram, caffeine 200 milligram, and aspirin 80 milligram. May this item be marked People's 148 for identification? Yes. Placing a P148 on the bottle. Was this found inside the Baby Essentials bag, Ms. Fleet? Yes, it was. The item 117 is in my hand. I'm opening the package. It is a, appears to be a bottle of lotion labeled 117 from Applied Pharmacy Services. Uh, it's labeled BQ slash KA slash RA uh, with a 8 slash 1 slash 0.025 percent. May this be marked People's 149 for identification, Your Honor? Yes. Was this found within the Baby Essentials bag, Ms. Fleet? Yes, it was. I have in my hand LAPD evidence item 116. It is labeled 116, Bosch and Loam uh, eye drops. May this be marked People's 150 for identification? It is. Placing a P150. Were these eye drops found within the Baby Essentials bag? Yes, they were. LAPD evidence item 138 removed from its bag. It is labeled MedX. It has the words T connector. Uh, can you see that, Ms. Fleet? Yes. Okay. Well, can we dim the lights, Your Honor? Yes. I think it would help if we did. Showing you the the front, you see the the Med X uh, in the upper left, and the T connector with or W slash M L L. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay, and turning turning it over, it appears to contain some type <coughs> of uh, tubing, IV tubing device. Yes. Was that recovered inside the Baby Essentials bag? Yes. And. May this LAPD evidence item 138 be marked People's 151, Your Honor? Yes. Placing a P151 on that item. Have what appears to be a blue tourniquet. We have the lights back, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, LAPD evidence item 137, Your Honor. Opening that item. Writing LAPD 
137. May this be marked People's 152, Your Honor? It is. And I've indicated such on the tourniquet. Ms. Fleek, was this blue tourniquet found inside the Baby Essentials bag? Yes. And this, the entire Baby Essentials bag was LEPD item 103, is that right? Yes. And lastly, at LAPD item 139, I'm opening that item. I have uh, five individual business cards indicating Acres Home Heart and Vascular. Conrad Murray, MD, in Houston, Texas. May each of these five cards collectively be marked People's 153 for identification, Your Honor? Collectively 153. I'm placing a P153 on each card. Ms. Fleet, were each of these five business cards found within the Baby Essentials bag? Yes, they were. On this same day of June 29, 2009, did you also recover and book into coroner's evidence the saline bag and IV tubing that you had observed on 625-09? Yes. And before I proceed to that item, in the cabinet that you previously mentioned and the photographs depict a number of tubes of lotion uh, I have LAPD evidence item 111, which is 18 tubes of hydroquinone, quinone, 8%, the label being applied, pharmacy. May this bag collectively be marked People's 154, Your Honor? Yes. Placing a P154. That those lotion tubes of lotion were recovered in the cabinet next to these bags? Yes. And LAPD evidence item 115, Your Honor, uh, contains 18 tubes of Benequin, 20% from Applied Pharmacy. May this collectively be marked People's 155 for identification? Yes. Were these 18 Benequin tubes also recovered from the cabinet? Yes, they were. Okay, next to the bags you've previously testified about? Yes. <clears throat> then going to the saline bag <coughs> and IV uh, tubing. You recovered that again on 629, 2009? Yes, I did. And this was booked into LAPD, subsequently booked into LAPD evidence as uh, LAPD item 112? Yes. And showing you that saline bag, people, uh, excuse me, LAPD item 112, uh, is this a saline bag that you recovered from the IV stand on June 29th, but it observed on June 25th? Yes. May the saline bag uh, be marked People's 156 for identification, Your Honor? Yes. Placing a P156 on the bag itself. Additionally, Your Honor, I have uh, IV tubing uh, with a spike at one end. Uh, it to be a roller clamp uh, and plastic device attached to the tubing. Uh, May this tubing be marked, uh, although booked as the same LAPD evidence item 112, may this be marked People's 157 for identification? Yes. And I'm going to place a P157 on the plastic chamber at the end of that. I also have a, what is referred to as uh, a Y connector with tubing. Uh, also from LAPD Evidence 112, may this Y connector with attached tubing be marked as People's 
158 for identification? Yes. I will attempt to place a P158 on this. Ms. Lee. This Y connector tubing, was this actually lights, please? Um, attached to and part of what has been marked People's 157 when you recovered it? Yes. Okay. And it was subsequently spliced for uh, toxicology analysis? Right. And when you recovered this saline bag and, it, and the IV tubing draped over the IV stand, was there also a syringe with attached needle in the port of this uh, uh, Y connector or y, y port? Yes. Okay. And again, booked as LAPD item 112. Uh, it is now capped and in a Sharpie container, Your Honor. May this be marked People's 159 for identification? It is. And Ms. Fleek, holding up what's marked People's 159. Uh, do you see this plastic cap here covering the needle? Yes. Okay, that was placed on the needle after it was recovered inside the port of the tubing? Yes, for storage purposes. Okay. And going back then to People's 25. Just to be clear then, the saline bag hanging from the IV stand as depicted in People's 25, that is People's 156 that we've identified here today? Yes. And the IV tubing, including the Y connector, that is what's shown hanging from the IV stand, not attached to the saline bag, but hanging from the IV stand in People's 25? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Is what I'm holding here at People's 157 and 158, which is the IV kit, right? Yes. Okay. Is this item reflected in People's 25 hanging from the IV stand? Yes. Okay. And additionally, is People's 159 uh, depicted in the photograph, People's 25, uh, in the port, uh, basically hanging freely from that port uh, from the IV stand? Yes. And collectively, well, before going there, I have Item, LAPD item 133, Your Honor, which is the a splice section of the end of the IV tubing. Um, it has, contains blood, and I'm going to leave it in its evidence envelope. May this be marked People's 160 for identification? It is. Ms. Fleek, are you aware of what's contained in People's 160? Yes, I have to refer to my notes. Is this the, the end of the IV tubing kit that was cut off for purposes of analysis? The tip, yes it is. Okay. And were these items specifically People's 157, 158, 159, and 160 collectively booked into the coroner's evidence as medical evidence number two? Yes, they were. Ms. Fleek, following your recovery of these items, were they subsequently taken into the coroner's evidence and processed uh, for various uh, testing as was necessary or held in evidence? Yes, they were. One last area I want to ask you about, Ms. Fleek. As a coroner's investigator assigned to this case, uh, following your recovery of these various items of evidence, uh, did you seek out 